have this? Why? It's garbage. Well, it reminds me of you. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Come on, get up. Dad's home. What? Already? Yeah. You've been asleep all day. Daniel! Daniel! <laughs> Some crazy people. <laughs> uh. I miss you so much out there, you have no idea. We missed you too. <laughs> I miss you, baby girl. I miss you too, Dad. You're so quiet over there. Usually you're a little chatterbox, huh? <laughs> What's the deal? Tired. Yeah? Looks like we're going. All right. Okay, Daniel. What do you have to say for yourself?
What? I don't say anything. Okay, Aaron. Daniel. Yes, ma'am. Have you thought about what you're gonna say to the senator? Everybody I talk to says it's just a formality. Still, doesn't mean you can't be prepared. We can do a mock interview. I can come up with a few questions. What you think? I think I'll be fine. All right. Mom, can you drive me somewhere after dinner? Oh, no, baby. I, I got so much to do today. I want to visit Wendy. Why? I don't know. Just feel like it. better not to say. Therefore, this project should have a back or second that might hold if this did blast and proof. Soft, let me see. We'll make a solemn wager on your cunnings, I had. When in your motion you are hot and dry, as make your bouts more violent to that end, and that he calls for a drink, I'll have prepared him a chalice for the nonce, whereon but sipping, if he by chance escape your venom stuck, our purpose may hold there. But stay, what noise? How now, sweet queen? One woe doth, um, sorry. One woe doth tread upon another's heel. So fast they follow, your sisters drown. Laertes. Brad. Oh, shit. Where are you, Bradley? It's my bad. Uh, drowned? Oh, where? There is a willow grows a slant of brook that shows its hoar leaves in the glassy stream. There with fantastic garlands did she come of crow flowers, nettles, daisies, and long purples that the liberal shepherds give a grosser name. But our cold maids do dead men's fingers call them. There, on the pendant bows of the <laughs> Mom, Bradley again. Winter formal. This girlfriend has dumped him. I kind of feel bad. Am I like obligated to go with him? Show me. It's not like I don't want to go with him. I just don't want to go at all. It's going to be a bunch of his friends just smoking and playing video games, and then half of the morning and go to the dance. So what's the point? Well, I will say this. You should be socializing with your peers, however puerile they may be. Honestly, I say go. Your senior year, go make some memories. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, you're a grown woman, free to do as she pleases. Ah, uh, you're right. I have to stay after school. I'll, I'll wait for you. It's okay, I'll get a ride from one of the baseball guys, Jeff or something. All right. There you go. Oh, I wanted to get an oil change. Would you do that for me? Gotcha. You got me?
Hey, Rick. Yeah. Check the serpentine, though. What now? The serpentine. All right. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, Ma'am, you got a few extra problems with the car. You want to step out and take a look? Um, uh, yeah. So this is the serpentine belt located in the front of the engine. And what it does, it connects like the water. Sorry, are either of you Daniel? Uh, yeah. Hey, uh, I was just talking to a guy in there and he said that you may be going to Bedfield to pick up your brother. From Bedfield High School, I mean. Yeah. I'm just wondering because I have to leave my car here overnight and I'm going there. Is there any, I know this is weird, but is there, can you give me a ride? Uh, yeah, sure, I, I got you. Yes? No problem. Thank you, thank you so much. I'll, I'm just gonna go get my stuff and, okay. For the ride. Oh, it's no problem. It's already going this way, so. Oh, I know this book. My dad got it for me. He used to make me do all these book reports so I could remember, like, writing the theme and who was the protagonist, who's the antagonist, all that stuff. Right, right. <clears throat> Because he's an English teacher. He's actually my English teacher, which isn't that weird, weirdly. Like, you would think it's weird because, ew, why would you want your dad as a teacher? But it, it, he's harder on me than he is with anyone. And if anything, it just pushes me to do better because, I, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to keep talking. No, so if fine. you feel free to chime in or just like cut oh, me no, off. Because you were going, you were just. No, no, no. I just, I just tend to talk a lot when I'm uncomfortable. So. You don't seem uncomfortable. Trust me, I am. Nah, come on. I'm leaning back, chilling, touching my stuff. You seem all right to me. No touching the books. That's, I got it. No, nah, you, can, you can touch the book if you want to. No, no, we can, we can sit in silence and listen to the wind. Even though I hate, I hate, I hate silence. The only person I can actually sit in silence with is my dad, and even then I'm like, need to say something. <laughs> what? You talk about your dad a lot. <laughs> a lot. No, I don't. Do I? Oh my god, I do. I do! I mean, it's okay, you know. You talk about your dad, you love your dad. <laughs> oh my god. That is devastating. <laughs> well, you tell me something now to, to even it out. Me? You want me to what? To tell me an embarrassing story. Come on, you must like have embarrassing, one. embarrassing, uh, something uncool. Oh well, I've been, uh, I've been cool my whole life, so that's that's a task. Oh, <laughs> you've been cool your whole life. I'm just saying, <clears throat> you're just a tough guy, big old man. There you go. You, now we're talking. Now we're talking. You do man stuff. And, hey, all day, every day. Want me to fix your motorcycle? I do that. I can do that. <laughs> so I said, yeah, you see through me, but guess what? I see through you too. Fair enough.
Well, thank you for the ride. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Actually, no, I'm, uh, I'm going to Nashville tomorrow. Oh, what's, what's in Nashville? Uh, a meeting, uh, I'm trying to enlist. In the army? Marines. Hmm? Oh, sorry, hi, I'm Cassie. Hello. Nice to meet you. Yeah, what's wrong with his name's Aaron? I'm sorry. <laughs> I've always liked that name. He picked it out. No way, really? Yeah. My dad just gave him a book and he picked the first one he saw. First one, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it was nice to meet you guys. Likewise. Bye. <laughs> Shut up, man. What? <laughs> I didn't say anything. Yeah, okay. I was, I'm literally just looking at you. You always just look at me. <laughs> Hello? Dad? Hold on. That. What are you doing here? I... Uh, this bulb was driving me crazy, flickering. I finally just took it down myself. Uh, anyway, I think suspension is the wrong move here. When's the last time we talked to his parents? Yeah, I'll call them. Thank okay. you. Thanks. Hi, Cassie. I guess I should call Jeff off since you're here, huh? I don't, I don't have the car. What happened? The belt broke. What? It, or it was about to. But they got you to replace the timing belt? It wasn't the timing belt, it was a different belt. It was a... Serpentine belt? Yeah. Still, I wish you would've just called me first. It's okay. Right before state, man. I, I ain't got no bullpen. I, I got nothing, you know. I only got one thing on their mind. One thing on their mind. And I'm still trying <laughs> to figure out what it is. It's not schoolwork. It's not schoolwork. It's probably not pitching either. I don't think it's sports related. <laughs> Kids these days. Kids. You know oh, saying? my God. Joseph. Hey, you remember Min? Joseph. Who's that again? You know that little Vietnamese lady teaches my yoga class? You know what she says to me? She tells me I should teach the class. Huh. Can't believe she said that. Go sit. Go sit. I'll oh, do that. Thanks. Oh, when does it start? Mm. Oh, I'm not going to teach a class. Why not? Oh. I can say my wife is a yoga instructor. That's pretty hot. You okay? Yeah, fine. Fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Come on. What are you so moody about? That pressure's finally starting to get to you. Last semester. Well, I hope you're finding some way to relax. You can't just be studying all the time. Come on, when's the last time you just went out and had fun? I don't know. Well, maybe you need to do something about that. Yeah, maybe I'll take the day off tomorrow. There you go. Wait, take the day off from, <laughs> you mean ditch school? Yeah. Maybe see my friends at Vanderbilt? <laughs> oh, I don't think you can do that. Can she? No. That's ridiculous. Why? Because you can't skip school, that's why. Is that what you told me this morning? What, what did I tell you this morning? That I'm a grown woman, free to do as I please. Can you believe this girl using my own words against me? <laughs> Where are you going? I have homework.
Hello? Hi. Thanks for picking up. Sure. What are you up to? I was about to go to bed. So early. Yeah, early to bed, early to rise, you know. 8 p.m. bedtime. My mom comes to tuck you in. That's right. Where's, uh, I bet you're, you're at Night Owl. Oh, yeah, all the way. Staying up late, hitting all the clubs, trying to be seen. There's so many clubs, I just gotta hit them all. <laughs> anyway, um, so the real reason I'm calling you is, um, I was wondering if you're still going to Nashville tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going to, Na I'm going too, tomorrow. Oh, okay. Um, and I thought since you so graciously gave me a ride today that I could repay the favor and give you a ride. Assuming that you guys fixed my car in time. Or is that not a safe assumption? No, uh, uh, that's really nice of you. I just, uh, I was just gonna take my bike to Nashville. Your motorcycle? Do you have room for one more? Uh, that's, that's a bad idea. Because I, I, I just wasn't looking to get in, involved <laughs> with anyone. Who says I'm looking to get involved? Uh, I mean, wow. Don't you have school tomorrow? You, you, you have school? Yes, that's not an issue. You. And your dad, he's, he's cool with you going. Yes. With me. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, this, this is, it feels like, like something we shouldn't be doing. Look, I'm a, I'm a senior in high school. Okay, I'm, I'm 18, so. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, man, um. So what do we do? That was amazing. Woo! Take take a minute. <laughs> Do you have to go right away? Or what do you what do you Yeah, I should probably go. Yeah, get there early. You know. Cool. But I, I cool. can I can text you when I'm done. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah, I mean I don't have much to do, so. Cool. Okay, well, bye. See ya.
Mr. Harris. Yes. Oh, that was you. RJ. Oh, of course. Good to finally meet you in person. Yes, me too. Uh, you too. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, my office receives about 50 requests a year. I sponsor two, three this year, including you. A little about me. My brother. He also had a felony conviction. Same as you. And so one of the things I said to myself, if I ever got elected, was to try to use my position as a leader to advocate for people who have maybe made a mistake, but are ready to commit themselves to something greater. Does that make sense? Yes, ma'am. Good. Next week, you're gonna sit down with the battalion commander. His name is Adam Kane, Lieutenant Colonel Adam Kane. Now, I'm gonna grease the wheels a little bit, but you need to remember this is his decision to make. Of course. So what I need from you is ammunition, so to speak. I need something that maybe your record or, you know, a piece of paper isn't going to communicate. Sure. Um, well, I got my GED last year. I, I guess that's a, um, a piece of paper. What was that like, going back to school? Oh, no, it, it, it was just an exam. So, uh... Okay. So maybe you can tell me about having a parent in the armed forces. Your father's a high-ranking officer. Yeah, uh, it definitely impacted me. Um, you look at a guy like my dad and, uh, <clears throat> sorry. It's okay. Um, it's okay, take your time. You know, I think the worst part about when I went to prison was seeing what it did to him. I remember the day that he dropped me off and he was telling me to be strong and all of that. And he grabbed me by the shoulders and he, and he looked at me one last time. And uh, I could really see how hard he, he, he was struggling with it. But he didn't like who he saw. And I didn't like who he saw. But I know that's not who I am, and I, I want to finally do something, anything to, to prove that. 
I don't, I don't know how that sounds. It's... Sounds like the truth. You. It's all right. Um, this way. So how'd it go? Are you in? Uh, still got one more meeting, but us. Huh. pretty much. It's crazy. I thought the whole point of the army was you kind of just signed up. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's the Marines. Oh, are are they more selective? Uh, yeah, yeah. But my dad's in the corps, so I think he's gonna he's gonna try to pull some strings. Is he the one making you enlist? Sue Jamison, open or close? I'm um, closed, actually. You know, it's kind of loud in here, right? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I don't really drink. Uh. Oh, shit. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. I should no, have said. No, you're just so okay. Don't worry mm. about it. Hey, do you guys want these? Uh, All yours. Sure. Sorry about that. Thanks. Hey, I'm Ross. What's your name? I'm Cassie. So, Cassie, do you just. Go around to bars buying drinks for handsome strangers? Uh. I'm kidding. <laughs> Next round's on me. No. No, I insist. I'm a gentleman. I was really just trying to get rid of him. Get rid of him? Did you. You were with me these, didn't you? You know there are easier ways. <laughs> okay, here, how about how about we both drink them at the same time? Hey, I need to. Um, just take this out of Yeah, let's take this fuck out of here. Dude, are you too. Shit, man, I didn't, I didn't realize she was your girl, man. Pretty sure she's her own girl. That's not what I, hey. Yo, hey, hey, bro, bro, hey, bro. Touch me, man. Just fucking relax, man. Touch me. All right. Sorry, I, no, I dragged no, you in sorry. there. I'm sorry. I, feel, I just I started to really feel like I was gonna hit him. I wanted to hit him. God, I wanted to slap him right in your you, face. No, you don't understand. I have I have a record, Cassie. What? A record. I went to prison. That's why I'm here. That's why I can't. I can't just sign up for the Marines. What'd you do? Got into a fight in high school. This kid came from behind and pushed me, so I turned around and I hit him as hard as I could. And I blinded him. His right eye. Oh. You went to jail for that? Yes. Even though he started it. That's not what I'm saying. This is a problem for me. I hurt people. This is one time in middle school, this boy called me a slut. So I took his glasses off and I stomped on him. So, I mean, technically we both blinded people.
<laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't say that to make you feel better. It's true. Okay. <laughs> How do you like this? Like what? Like nothing bothers you. You're just easy going. What else do you like about me? <laughs> what else? A lot of stuff. Well, I'll tell you what I like about you. Okay. You ready? Mm hmm. It's gonna be a lot harder to do back home. Think we can do this back home? Honestly, I say come pick me up from school Monday morning. I'll ditch again, I don't give a fuck. <laughs>
Yeah? Looks like we're going. All right. Okay, Daniel. What do you have to say for yourself? What am I supposed to say? Uh, hi. Hi, Daddy. Hello, we miss you. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to say. Come on, Daniel. I don't know. Pass. Pass? <laughs> All right. All right, baby girl. What do you got to say? Come on. Hey, Mom, what's one fact about you? You can't come up with one fact? Um. There you are. Aaron's gonna be late for school. I'll be ready in a second. Wait, wait, hold on. You in a good mood? <coughs> More than mom. Hmm. Oh, I know. Weren't you trying to be a lawyer at some point? Oh, yeah. I thought about going to law school. Had my books and everything. I was in. Really? Yeah. So, why didn't you go? Well, sometimes things just don't work out the way we expect them to. Aaron, let's go. Bye. Bye, sweetie. Where were you all weekend? Yeah, you know I had that meeting. The whole weekend? I was hanging with that girl. What girl? You met her. Oh. Oh, that girl? Oh. Okay, so um, what'd y'all do? You know, whatever. Let's go. Whatever. <laughs> All right, bro. Well, let me just tell you. It's about time you got a girl for a minute. Yeah, it might have just been a one-time thing. She dumped you already? No, this just, just isn't a good idea. Why? No, no wait, wait. Why, why isn't it a good idea? It just isn't. Is it because she's 18? Still in high school, or because she's white. Hey. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, okay. All right, honestly, do you you want to know what I really think? Nope, I don't. Attention, attention, por favor, un voluntario. Ah, un valiente, gracias. Should I just go on? Sí, por favor. <clears throat> Aquí está mi hermana Wendy. Ella murió antes de que yo naciera. Tenía 10 y 7 años. La siguiente es de mi madre. Ella se llama Nina. Estaba pens pensando en asistir a una facultad de derecho, pero decidió no hacerlo. <coughs> Aquí está mi padre, Lee, en los Marines. Él vive en Afganistán. 
está estacionado en Afganistán. Sí. Y finalmente, mi hermano Daniel. Uh, mi persona favorita en mi familia. Gracias. Ok. ¿Quién está listo? Gracias. Hey, cool story, bro. Hey. Este es mi padre. Yo. Es un vendedor y es dueño de esta tienda. Es Benny Bate. Es tu problema. 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 Es tu Cameron, come here. Tell him you're sorry. What? Say, Ken, I am very sorry for what I said to you. Ugh. Say it. No. He, he's the one who hit Aaron, me. That boy's father is dead. Do you understand what that feels like? Now tell him you're sorry, please. No. Okay. Go wait in the car. Why? Just do it. Finished already. Where are you going? Bathroom. With all your stuff? Yeah. Wait a minute. Here, take the pass. I can't believe you really came for me. <laughs> this was your idea. So when do you find out about the Marines? 
got my last meeting this weekend. Something wrong? Are you sure? What's up? I think my dad's cheating on my mom. Shit, really? Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean. No, I. No. I didn't. I don't. I didn't want to. Uh, I just feel so fucking angry at him when I'm alone or. Like right now, and I, and then when I'm with him, I feel like I am not allowed to feel angry. Like I have to protect his feelings because he's my dad, no matter how fucked up the thing he did is. And he's just acting completely normal. I mean, what is that? What is that? Is that is that normal? Is that like a is that a guy thing to just pretend like everything's okay? And I mean, kinda, yeah. <laughs> I just hate being angry. I hate it. I just want to get rid of it. How do I do that? Forgive me. I mean, I'm not saying that you should, but... I don't know, anger is, is, is tricky, you know? It's like the longer you're angry about something, carry it around with you long enough, you, you start to not even notice it. You just kind of get to be an angry person. I have to tell you something. Okay. I know about your sister. I thought it was weird not telling you that I knew. I'm so sorry. No, I'm so sorry to tell me. <clears throat> it was hard never finding out who did it, but uh, it's been uh, been some times so when it is what it is, but. We don't have to talk about it. Cassie? Yeah? Come here. Sit down. Where is this? We would like to talk to you. Sit down. Look, we're not here to lecture you about skipping school. Although, that is getting to be a problem. The problem is that boy you were with. Daniel Harris? How'd y'all meet? Uh, at the car place when I dropped the car off. He works there. And he, he just started talking to you? Yeah. I mean, I asked for a ride. What's, what's the big deal? We know this guy. He used to go to Bedfield. He's not a good person. And he's not somebody that you should be spending your time with. Wait, what? You know he went to jail? Yes. What, is, is that it? He's a bad person because he went to jail? How about he's older than you? Okay, he's 24. What's really, How about he's... You know, what we're really worried he's about... He's a violent criminal. What's, what's really bothering us, honey, is that you've been hiding it from us. Now, you can see why that would bother us. Since when do you feel like you have to hide things? What made you think you had to do that? I don't, I don't know, Dad. People hide relationships. It, 
is that that's what this is about? I was changing a light bulb the other day. I, I, I moved my desk for a second, and she thinks, I don't even know. What is it that you think that I was doing, huh? What, you think I was having sex with Sharon Tillerson in a classroom? Are you out of your mind? I would lose my job immediately. No pension, no health care, career over. I wouldn't be able to afford the house, wouldn't be able to afford your college. Okay. There goes your entire okay, future. She understands. After all that we've done for you. Okay. Who sorry. else? Hey, hey. Don't do that. Don't do that, Cassie. Cassie, come here. Come back here. I don't even recognize this. You don't recognize this? Yeah, this whole defensive thing you're doing. No, this is not who you are. Oh, please tell me who I am. You are an intelligent, confident, amazing. Hey, Cassie. Cassie. Do not walk away while I am talking to you! I'm sorry. Forgive you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's ready for you. Come in. Thank you for seeing me, sir. I really appreciate it. How could I refuse? <laughs> Your dad is legendary around here. Oh, man. <laughs> Please. Look, I'm not going to waste your time here. I really struggled with this one. You've got some great credentials, but I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to approve your waiver at this time. You mean you, you can't do it right now, or? No, not at all. Sir, may I ask why? You have a violent felony. Simple as that. Waivers are only granted under special circumstances, and yours does not qualify. Sir, if I may, uh, if I may uh, draw your attention to a past recruit, uh, Mark Williams, we had the exact same no, conviction. In fact, he did more jail time. You're not going to do it this so way. I'm just saying, it's the exact same situation. Wait, okay, okay, okay. When was this? J July 2003, sir. Well, this isn't July 2003 now, is it? Look, you got your diploma. You got a job. I read through the letter from your parole officer. You're taking great care of your mom and your little brother. You're a young man who's ready to commit himself to something greater. It's just not going to be the Marines. Yeah, you slide under, you go down B, down B. Yeah. 
The same thing. Pop, I'm sorry. My dad's gonna be so disappointed. Well, how do you feel about it? You know, because a lot of the times I feel like I'm just playing the part everyone wants me to play instead of just doing what I want. You know? I mean, here I am at this pre-party, about to go to winter formal, and all I really want to do is just hang out with you. Hello? Daniel? Oh, yeah, I, I, uh, I heard you. I'm sorry, I, uh, I have to go. I'm sorry. No, no, of course. Daniel? Yeah? Why aren't you answering your phone? Well, what happened? What did the commander say? I didn't get in. What? I didn't get in. I should have just gone to that colonel. You know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. Mom, please. Mom. It's not too late. Mom. That's what wait, I'm going to do. Mom. No, no, no. I had enough of this proper channels bullshit. Please just don't call dad right now. Don't call dad. After everything Mom, we it's done. Uh uh. After all the hoops they made us jump through. After everything we've done for them. You made one mistake and they want to hold it against you for life. The hypocrisy of these people. Isn't that just the rule? Can't be in the military if you've been in jail. There are no rules. They do whatever they want. You should know that by now. You can just take Daniel's side no matter what, huh? Of course I do. He's my son. And how come you never take my side? I saw you apologize to Kent. He hit me. Aaron. I never even touched Aaron. him. Aaron! Listen, you want to know why I apologize to that boy? Because you hate me. No, Aaron. Yes. Because I should have punched him so hard that I blinded him. Maybe then you would have been on my side. Boy, you don't know what you're saying. With Daniel, it's he's my son. Aaron, listen to me. Nobody talk about Daniel Stop because he's it, my Aaron. son. Stop it, Aaron. That's me, not true. You treat me like I'm not even a part of this stupid oh. family. Oh, right, it's Aaron. OK if you like Daniel more than me. It's fine. It, it, it would just be nice if you admitted that. If for once. Aaron, shut up. Shut up. What? Listen. Listen. By the way, somebody hit you. That doesn't give you permission to hit him back. You want to be a real man, you take the punch and you fucking walk away.
What are you doing here? I wanted to talk to you. You weren't answering your phone. I was worried. What is that? Something I made when I was a kid. I had two of them. My sister took one with her the night she died. Look, I know the Marines was super important to you, but I was thinking maybe this could be a good thing. Stop it, stop doing that. Stop. You think you understand everything. You don't. You have no idea. I wanted to join the Marines. That wasn't my dad telling me to do all that shit. That was my one chance to start over. That was it. And you did. I'm gonna be here changing oil for the rest of my life. I got nothing. You can't see what you have. You will get through this. You will. And I'm not going anywhere, okay? I'm right here.
not from his mouth had it the ability of life to thank you. He never gave commandment for their death, but since, so jump upon this bloody question, you from the Pollock Wars and you from England are here arrived, give order that these bodies high on a stage be placed to the view, and let me speak to the yet unknowing world how these things came about. So shall you hear the carnal, bloody, and unnatural acts of accidental judgments, casual slaughters, of deaths from the Let us haste to hear it and call the noblest of the audience. For me, with sorrow, I embrace my fortune. Cassie. Yeah. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You seem a little tired. I was just up late. You all right, honey?
Cassie, can I come in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just one second. Hey. Burn the midnight oil, huh? Yeah. Uh. I, um. I wanted to ask you something. But, um. What? I, I, I need the car really early tomorrow. Uh, so if you don't mind getting a ride from mom. What are you still doing up? Um, I was just... Where are you going? I'm gonna go get Cassie. I think she might be in some kind of trouble. What happened? I don't know. Go to bed, Aaron. I don't know what compelled you to write this. Or what it is you think I did. Cassie! Cassie! Please tell me what this is all about. She was in your car. That night she died, she was in your car. Who? Who? Who is this person you You know who. You mean that boy's sister? <laughs> you know what her name is. Wendy Harris. Everybody knows who she is. I know you killed her. Listen, okay? Listen. You want the truth? This is it. I did. I made a mistake. I had an affair with that girl. But but Cassie, listen, listen to me. She she was she was not in her right mind. She wasn't. I, I told her this can't keep happening. This has got to stop. And she told me that if I didn't run away with her, she was gonna go to the police. And at that point, it wasn't just about me anymore. It was about us, okay? She made it about us. 
She threatened my family, okay? That was her choice. <laughs> when you have children, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Yes, you will. You protect your family no matter what. I didn't want to, I didn't want to lose my family. I just want to lose you. I just want to lose you. But listen, now that you know, you need to tell me everything you know because this can't get out, okay? It cannot get out. Nothing good can come of that. You know that. You know that, don't you? No, no good will come of that. Baby, come on. You know that. You come on, baby. Still lying to you, Tess. <laughs> no, he's still lying to you. No. <laughs> tell her what she left up. Just tell wait her. a second. Tell her okay. It's all over. It's all you over. Tell her what? Go tell to the her police. Just get out of here. Let's get out of here. We can go to the police, please. Please, it's not worth it. Just listen. Listen to me. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Oh. <laughs> Wake up. Wendy, is she all right? I'm very sorry. 
sorry, what, what do you mean? She lost a lot of blood. No. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Um, but her baby has a shot. Wait, what, what baby? He, he's your brother. He's your brother. Who? What do you, what do you mean? There's a young man here who wants to speak with you. Thank you. 